All right, so let's talk about some of the trailers that got announced because if people don't know, BGA is just another way for E3 per se. Um, Video I'm announcing game new games. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what, that's what you came for. You came for the trailers. Rewards were second to probably most gamers. They're like, what is the big hype game coming? What like what games are we excited? What is Nintendo up to? What is PlayStation up to? What are some of the third parties are up to? Um, so overall, um, there hasn't been a war ceremony where I've been super hyped for a lot of game announcements coming out of that. Uh, yeah. This is not any different. Uh, but what we did get is games that been announced or been rumored or heard about kind of come up the float. And I think the one of the biggest surprises, maybe for a lot of people, uh, and it was my this is my first pick I want to talk about is Judas. This is the the Ken Levine game. Ken yeah. Levine has been gone for quite a while. Remember that the last game he was part of was Pi of Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, it you was know, great, and that was a great game. Mm hmm. Yeah, it, it it was a ten for me when we did our uh, our perfect, perfect 10, ten episodes. Yeah, um, and it's cool that you know that it's been oh man, has it been a decade? I don't know when Infinite came out. Oh, but I think it was twenty thirteen. Um, I think it's coming on a decade since he had came out. I think I think Infinite was a twenty thirteen game, if I'm correct. It was. Um, oh God, yeah, you're right. Twenty thirteen. Yeah, came so, out PS three and three sixty. Yeah, so it's about to be a. It's coming on a decade since we heard anything. Now we heard like he was working on certain games, but we it never came afloat. It never we never heard anything about it. That's so, a good timing then. Yeah, so happy ten anniversary to Ken. <laughs> so, um, but Judas, uh, we don't know too much about it. We know that it is very uh, colorful, very spacious, and very Bioshock. That's fine I thought it with was me. Bioshock until they said you know Judas. Mm -hmm. I was like. Stop trying to trick me. You're Bioshock. Right. It's his Bioshock now. Right? <laughs> That's his. This is his Bioshock. Because there yeah. is a new Bioshock in the making we still don't know about um, from the Studio yeah. 2K. So, um, no, I'm excited. I like where they're going. It almost has, it's weirdly enough, walk with me with here. I got a little splash of Outer World in this kind of vibe here. It's very colorful and the, kind of a little off the wall. The humor. Yeah. 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 I, I, I get a little bit of that vibe. You know, in there, I like how um, it's very psychedelic, sci-fi-ish looking. Yeah. Uh, especially, like, the I think one of the big things was that giant dog robot that came down and the door opened up. And then that little, that girl that got on one of those mechs and started attacking everybody. I'm like, okay, right on. And it's, what's more interesting is um, it's a female um, protagonist, which I'm very excited about. I'm like, yeah, oh, okay. Always yeah. have more of it. Yeah, so I think this is going to be interesting where this goes, and I'm excited because um, if you have played a Bioshock game, uh, you easily, easily can fall in love with the lore and the world that he yes. is building. It oh, yes. I, it's almost like just going on. It's almost it's more the journey than the destination when it comes to Ken Levine games, and I really love that. Uh, yeah. So I am very, very, very excited to see that and shout out to atomic heart that also showed there but i've seen enough atomic heart that i'm already in for it and this trailer is not any different so I, that's why it's not on my list but i have to remember like ken levine is the guy that got me into liking games that are bioshockish games like atomic heart and singularity and all these other games like, like that first person shooter slash rpg skill tree type stuff not necessarily that it's more of taking you into an isolated world <laughs> Ah, okay. That's what I like. Like Bioshock in, in an isolated world and learning about that community. It's almost like a cultish kind of thing where you're going into this world and you're learning this world. You're like, it's almost you're away from uh, of of the real world and you're putting into this okay. isolated place. And that's Go what it feels like. Looking glass. Yeah, so Judas glass. felt like we're going into another place. Either this is a wacky space station that we're going or some isolated place where we're going to learn about what the rules and the laws of this world is going to be in this bubble that he is creating. And so, yeah. And he, somehow, even though it's a bubble, he still makes the world feel enormous, especially yeah. infinite. I mean, mm -hmm. he did it in the original Bioshock uh, with Rapture, but yes, um, Columbia really just. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what wackiness he's going to do with this because like, is this going to be a space city? I don't know what his imagination is going to be, but I'm excited to see what wacky characters, because either way, it, that game is probably going to leave some kind of impression for me. I probably won't forget playing one of those games. So I'm very, exactly. very, 